Welcome everybody to a full in-depth guide for how to cut foam. So this will be the first part of a series that I'm working on where I will kind of go through the basics of how to do a lot of these smaller steps that maybe in a full size video I only have maybe a minute or 45 seconds or so just to explain the process. So this series is really for just breaking down each step a little bit further and explaining how to really do this stuff more in depth. So we be taking all these different tools and I'll be cutting foam. So first up we have scissors. Now for the foam core, it's not terrible. It doesn't create a very clean cut, I should say. And you can see that definitely here on the edges where it doesn't go all the way through and leaves rough spots there. So I would not recommend the scissors for the foam core. And for the XPS foam, it is substantially worse. So you can see here it really just kind of crushes in the foam and tears it and would not recommend that. So up next we have just a little exacto blade. This works fine for kind of the smaller stuff, paper, foam core, and creates a pretty good cut through just this quarter inch piece of foam. I uh, didn't really have any issues with that and it made a pretty good cut. Did have to go through there twice just to get that last bottom piece of paper. But if you were to pull that foam or that paper off the foam first, you really wouldn't have any problem with this. And a pretty clean cut. However, with the XPS foam, you really have to have a longer blade, otherwise you're going to be tearing it just with the very end of the blade where it meets whatever's holding it and does not go all the way through. So here I tried to break that off just to see, but did not work, so I had to go through and cut it even further. And it will make a decent cut if this is all you have access to. But definitely if you're going to have to do this method, I would recommend that you do multiple passes and try to really take your time because it does really tear up your foam. So, recommend it for the foam, but not for the XPS. Next up, since we're looking for a longer blade, we're going to try just a standard kitchen knife. Now this, I would not recommend for the foam at all. This is not cut through there even a little bit, and the only way I could actually get that to cut was to turn the foam on its edge and start kind of sawing into it. This is awful for the foam. I would not recommend this step at all. Now I actually have seen lots of people use a kitchen knife on XPS foam to pretty good effect. And maybe if this one was sharper it wouldn't be so bad. But I definitely found that this one did not quite do the job as well as it could have. Definitely seemed to tear the foam you can see there towards the top. It's kind of cutting into it and shredding it a little bit. And I had to do multiple passes to even try to get that to go through. And But I did kind of create the same steps where I'm just pulling the knife through multiple times to slowly cut through that and that does somewhat work. However you can see it's still not a very clean cut and that could just be because of the sharpness of my kitchen knife. Next up we're going to be using a utility knife. Now this first pass I'm just going to try to push through the entire thing all at once. And towards the top here you can really see that it kind of cuts and makes a bit of a rough texture along that top edge. And that's because we didn't do multiple passes where you can kind of create a softer, slower approach into it. So for this, I'm going to take multiple passes and really just take my time getting down into that foam. And I'd recommend you probably keep your knife at about a 35 to 45 degree angle. Anywhere in there, you'll get a pretty clean cut. As long as you're making multiple passes, it'll be nice, smooth, and straight. Now, if you want to make sure you're actually getting square edges, I would recommend you take a square and you can take a sharpie pen and just kind of make sure that that bottom edge of that square is up against the foam and then just trace on that line that you're wanting to cut wherever that is. Now the nice thing about a sharpie pen is that the ink will actually melt that XPS foam just a little bit and kind of give you a bit of a guideline to work with. Now you can either just start cutting through it just like this making your slow passes or what I like to do is put that square back up there on the opposite side and just cut on the back side of that blade making sure to keep my knife up straight up and down. Still multiple passes and you'll get a nice square clean cut. So now if you don't have a square you can always just take your whatever ruler or straight edge you have and kind of either eyeball where it is or measure up to the spot that you're wanting to cut it. For this example I chose to do it at one inch so I'll just make a dot at one inch on both sides of the foam here. And then from there I'll just connect those two dots with that straight edge again making sure you're holding it in place and that that pen will line up to those dots as you cut through it or as you mark that line through it. Now for this one I will just go ahead and cut through it. If you're going to cut it without a guide 
I recommend you go slow and just be steady and just try to really make sure you're keeping that blade straight up and down just so you don't get any kind of wavering in the cut there and you'll get a nice clean cut right where you want it now for the, ex for the actual foam core you can do the exact same thing and take your square and draw a line that process is exactly the same for that now from there you can just cut straight through it or you can also if you wanted to put that square angle or even the metal ruler up against that and use that to get a nice straight edge as well for this foam core you might need to make two passes just to get that paper on the bottom cut through nicely too but you will get a nice straight cut if you take your time with this now you can also peel off the paper on one side and this will let the sharpie actually create a bit of a groove in that for you as it melts that foam just a little bit and then you're able to do the exact same process before and just cut right through it so a little bit more about this series I'm not entirely sure what the next video will be but I would like to just really break down some of these steps along the terrain making process I'll still be making all of my normal videos and these will kind of just be some extra filler as I work on creating a playlist that really goes more in depth to all these steps so if you have any questions or videos and topics you'd like me to cover, please comment down below and let me know what those are. And that will certainly be something that we could look to doing in the future videos. Now that pretty much wraps up what we'll be doing here today. If I were to recommend any one tool, it would absolutely be the utility knife. Now you can use the X-Acto blade or utility knife on the thin foam, and I would exclusively use the utility knife on the XPS foam. A square is very handy to get those straight edges, but even just a metal ruler to keep your blade straight is very useful as well. Anyways, that's about all I have time here for today. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing and commenting so I know that this is the type of content you'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.